Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a reading for the end of January 2023 looking at your recent past, your current energy, and your immediate future. As you can see I've already gone ahead and pulled the oracle cards and clarified those. I have the overall energy for the reading as well as the decks that I'll be using in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. All right Virgo, this is going to be a pretty deep one I can already tell. Um, in your recent past, you have let your fears dissolve with the four of wands. Um, your recent past was a lot of facing fear and you were facing fear so that you could, you know, I hate to say overcome it, but almost like accept it because you learn that fear never goes away. Um, fear of losing a relationship, fear of not having enough money, that, that those fears are always going to be there. It's up to you whether or not you choose to believe those fears. So your recent past was a lot of of kind of facing, I feel like, some more heavier times. Now, in your current energy, you have Go Wild with the Three of Swords in reverse. Also, what came out with this card, it was interesting because I was shuffling the clarifying cards, and the first one that came out was the Ten of Swords in reverse, and I I felt like maybe it wasn't the right card. I, I don't know why. I, I wasn't, like, super paying attention, I think, when it flew out, and I just I put it back in, and the Three of Swords came out. So definitely right now is a time for healing. And with the go wild card, I almost feel like it's a, it's a little bit of a time for you to kind of like have fun again. Like I feel like maybe you've been, you know, stuck focus, focusing so much on your healing or, or stuck focusing kind of on um, problems that you've had in your life that you haven't really had a chance to let loose. And I feel like right now is kind of that time for you. In your immediate future, you have clear your mind with the king of swords. The king of swords energy is, is someone who... Um, who can, can be so certain in times of uncertainty. So I do feel like you're kind of in maybe a, a time of things feeling very uncertain, things feeling a little bit unstable. Um, and it's almost like this King of Swords energy is what manifests, you know, stability for you. Uh, something, a concept that you'll he hear me talk about on my channel all of the time is that concept of how your subconscious is actually what, what manifests your reality. You know, 95% of our movements, choices, and decisions are actually subconscious. Only 5% of what we do comes from up here, um, comes from our conscious mind. Now, the way that we control our subconscious is by controlling our consciousness, controlling our, our conscious movements, choices, and decisions. The way that we respond to our reality is the way that we recreate it, create it. And so with this King of Swords energy in your immediate future and clear your mind, to me, this is you approaching life with a clear head and a level of certainty that you haven't had before. Your overall energy for the reading, and I really, really like these cards, um, is intention and protection. And so the way that I'm reading this is, and the, you know, something that actually, you know, this kind of in a way affirms my own personal beliefs, where if you set a certain intention for your life, you can be certain that that intention is going to come to fruition, no, whether or not you're consciously, um, you know, taking the steps to get there. Meaning if you set an intention to find financial abundance or to create the relationship that you're looking for, that path is going to be protected for you. You know, one thing that I found when I was honest, when I started my spiritual journey in the beginning was obsessing day in and day out about whether or not my movements, choices, and decisions were the right ones, um, whether I was doing the right thing, saying the right thing, being the right thing. And obviously, after a couple of years on the journey, I was able to realize that there really isn't is such thing as doing the right thing. There is, however, such a thing as doing, um, as your intentions being aligned. You know, your actions will be aligned when your intentions are aligned. And that's that whole concept of giving up control is understanding that if you've set the intention, the universe has your back and it, it is going to make sure that that intention comes to fruition. So this energy, this reading is a lot about focusing on your intentions um, and not so much, I feel like, your actions. It's, it's, it's a lot more about a mindset than it is about actual steps. All right, recent past for Virgo. You know, but you had to work really hard to get to this energy. This is an energy of surrender. This is an energy of learning to kind of let go and, and let the universe do its thing. Recent past for Virgo clarifying, let your fears dissolve with the four of wands. Yep. So your recent past, I mean, you have the six of wands in reverse with the nine of swords in reverse. So you were, you were dealing with a lack of, a, a, quite a bit of a lack of hope. Um, and whether or not you realized it, the whole intention was to, get you out of this nine of swords energy. Um, a word that just kind of came into my head is desensitization. Um, 
I don't really know why, but it's almost like the universe kind of had to put you in the thick of it so that you could make friends with it. Um, and that's the biggest thing you learn on a spiritual journey. And it goes back to what I was saying at the beginning, your fear never goes away. Your fear of how things are going to turn out in your future, that fear is always going to exist, but your mindset manifests your future. So it's kind of, it's, it's kind of a, I don't know if catch 22 is, is the right word or what, but it's essentially, if you, if you allow yourself to give in to fear, you will then manifest things to be fearful about. If you allow yourself to accept the fear as it is saying, yes, I understand these fears exist and I know that they're going to always be there, but you choose the peace and the certainty, that king of swords energy, that things are going to be okay. Well, that's how you create a better future, but you have to heal a lot to get to that point. And I feel like that's what you've been working toward even if you didn't really realize it, is the universe had to throw you kind of in the thick, thick of your fear, yeah, because there's the death card, had to throw you kind of in the thick of your fear in order for you to heal, to work through it. Recent past for Virgo, and, and it's setting you up for uh, the ability to, to really create a better future for yourself. All right, recent past for Virgo. There's the Ace of Wands and the, the Nine of Cups with the Three of Swords. Okay. Um, so we have the three of swords in reverse in your current energy. So your recent past, it was, it was quite a bit of a, a painful, um, situation. There was some heartbreak involved. There was some just, just, just like, a just pain. It was just a painful situation. Um, the ace of wands and the nine of cups, the way that I'm reading this message is this was a, uh, hmm. These tough love messages, man. I feel I feel like spirit always has put me in charge of delivering these. Um, what had happened and the loss that you had incurred was put there to have you reevaluate what it is that you actually wanted. Um, I feel like you have had a tendency to invest in the same situation over and over again. And so when that situation turns out a specific way, you look back and you start to say, why do things always turn out this way for me? And the reason is because there's a certain something that you, you continue to put your energy toward that isn't meant for you, whether it's a specific person, a specific kind of person. Um, there's something that needed to be, you know, re reframed or re readjusted. Um, because with the Ace of Wands, it's like, it's the absence, like, yes, Ace of Wands is usually a really good energy, but the way that I'm reading this is, is it's the absence of the Ace of Cups. So it's almost like you're investing in something from a place of passion and attachment as opposed to a place of emotion. Um, so that could mean you're investing in something because you think that it's necessary for your life or you think that that specific kind of energy or that specific kind of person is, what, is what's going to make you happy. Whatever it is, what this whole energy is kind of, of saying is the need to readdress your intentions. What are you looking for on a bigger picture scale? Are you looking for unconditional love? Are you looking for abundance? Are you looking for um, a, a sense of security, a sense of um, I'm actually going to take this one. Are you looking for a sense of security? Are you looking for a sense of purpose? What are you looking for and what do you want to feel? And then let go of the specifics. If you're wanting to feel love on a deep level, set that intention and allow the universe to then put you on track for that. Well, accepting that whatever that looks like might not look what you not, might not look like what you think it will look like, but it's going to look like exactly what you want even if you can't see it right now. And so right now, or in your recent past more specifically, all of the pain and the frustration and the lack of faith and the all of it, all of the stuff that you were dealing with was to kind of help you face a lot of those fears that were keeping you attached to things that weren't necessarily meant for you. Recent past for Virgo. The temperance and the star in reverse with the ten of swords. Goodness, Virgo, this was a painful energy. Um, I said I had that ten. Of, it's interesting because I have now we've seen the three of swords and the ten of swords, and I had both of those in reverse in your current energy. So your recent past sucked, guys. It sucked. I mean, it was painful. And, and with the star in reverse, it was almost like because that's two cards of lack of hope. So for me, this was a deep, deep energy of 
it's almost like it had a it had to go into that 95 it, it was pain that, that was trying to shoot down to that 95 percent and pull a lot of those limiting beliefs and fears up to the surface and that's why it was so and still maybe is so radically painful um with the temperance here i like this energy because it was almost like you were trying to still have have faith and in, in your future and and even if it felt like like it's interesting because you lacked hope but you still had faith and that's exactly it that's exactly that balance that, that we're aiming for um is yes you can lose hope of, of knowing you know being like i have no idea how this situation is going to get better and anytime i hope for something specific i get disappointed but i have faith that it's all working out for me because everything happens to me and not for me i just don't i can't or whoa everything happens for me not to me that's what i meant and i just can't see it right now that's the energy that i feel like you're either were able to tap into in your recent past or are needing to tap into in your current energy um because i mean like i said that's two cards of lack of hope that's two cards of, of really really painful energy and now i feel like there's kind of a need to readjust Look at your intentions for your future and make sure that you're um, conscious that 5% of you is aligning with where you're trying to go, not with where you've been. Current energy for Virgo. I like it. I like this reading for you guys because I know that it hasn't felt good. It, it's felt the opposite of good. It's felt very painful and honestly, like, would bring anybody to their knees what you had went through. So don't feel like just if it take if it took you down, it honestly, first and foremost was is kind of designed that way, whatever the situation was. Um, but also it whether or not you can see it yet, it happened for a purpose. All right, current energy for Virgo. These are both in reverse. Okay. No, they're not. They're upright. Good. Guys, good. King of Pentacles with the Two of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. This is exactly the right energy to be in right now. This is an energy of being a little bit more grounded. Um, and, you know, with the Two of Wands, it's almost like you're you're really trying to focus on, on staying in alignment. You're trying to focus on your path. You're trying to focus on your inner environment, and I love that for you. If, if you don't feel like that's what you're trying to do, this is a message about needing to do that. Because having go wild here, it's almost like, like, I feel like maybe you're coming to the end of a, of a healing cycle that has lasted for a really long time. And it's almost like, like, whether or not you realize it, you're still building this Ten of Pentacles for yourself. Even if it feels like things have been lacking, if it feels like things haven't been moving forward, know that you still are on track. Um, you're still in alignment with this. I mean, you have, you know, to me, this is kind of being in alignment with your path and then that Ten of Pentacles. Um, and then the King of Pentacles to me is an energy of, you know, really creating something good for yourself here in the material world it's, it's being very uh very practical in your approach sure but also not getting so lost in the practicality of it all that you forget about the magic of the universe that you forget that the universe has your back so i like that it's a good balance and at first i thought that they were upside down meaning a little bit of being ungrounded, you know, overthinking and over planning for your future. And if that is your energy, that's okay. That's just where you're at right now. But know that you are, you're, you've been in a healing period. And it's almost like you're coming to the end of that. You're coming to the end of a, of a healing period that has lasted for a very long time. And I love it for you because it is, it's, it's like everything that you, you've been searching for, um maybe it's answers or if it's what whatever it is whatever this is a general reading so i don't want to get too specific but it's almost like you're going to start to have thing like to watch the pieces get to fall into place for you one after another after this period that you've been through current energy for virgo so i like that i mean this is a good energy to be in right now current energy for virgo Okay. You have the five of pentacles with the ace of wands in reverse and there's, there's that 10 of pentacles. So here's the thing you have, you've, you've, you're dealing with a loss here, some sort of loss. Um, and it's almost caused you to lose a lot of your, like, like creativity is coming into this reading a little bit in terms of like you, you have, you've lost a lot of your creativity. 
you've lost a lot of your ability. And when I talk about creativity, I mean, I'm talking about your ability to create your life as a whole. Um, and a lot of that has been because of what you've been through. So again, no need to be to be hard on yourself. But seeing that 10 of Pentacles again, it, I mean, this just really is saying that this is this is about your long term stability. So the biggest lesson and, and thing to understand right now is what is meant for you will not pass you and what you've lost will either be returned or replaced in a better way. So know that and, and the biggest thing is needing to detach from whichever one that's going to be, whether something's going to be returned to you or whether it's going to be replaced. That doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you're still going to be stuck with you're not stuck, but you're still going to be given that 10 of Pentacles. Then you have the four of Pentacles again. Um, but right now is a time of almost like tapping into that, like, like I'm, I'm feeling sac sacral, sacral chakra vibes, sac sacral, goodness, chakra vibes, um, and need to kind of like, like tap into that energy again, like that creative, creative, um, like excited, almost sensual energy. Um, and not even necessarily when it comes, I, I, you know, this is, this is all about your relationship with yourself. So this is tapping into that when it comes to, to yourself here. Um, cause you have go wild guys. You have that, you have that energy of like needing to, to really, uh, like, I just, I feel create, like, I just feel creation coming through. And I love that because you, you know, we are the universe in motion. We are the creator of our own life. There it is, that four of wands in reverse. I was wondering where it was at. Um, understand that what happened in the past, if you've done, if you're able to do the healing, if you're able to um, face the truth of the situation, to see, you know, both sides of the situation and then release it, if you're, if you're that person and if this is your reading, know that the past isn't going to repeat itself you can open yourself up again because what you went through was to release a lot of the fear that might have impacted. And this is kind of goes back to that hard truth a little bit might have impacted the manifestation of the situation as a whole. So there is this energy of needing to recognize that the way that things played out had a little tiny bit to do with this four of wands in reverse card. Now I had someone comment on a reading last week when I was talking about how, you know, we do create our own reality. 95% of us creates our reality. And they were like, you know, going through, you know, having to face a situation with violence is not my fault. Oh my gosh, please don't ever think that I'm ever saying that anything has ever happened to you is your fault. It is not your fault. It is, however, your responsibility to heal from it and to make sure that there's that, that part of you that did end up having a role in it is released. That 95% of you that ends up manifesting situations for yourself, whether they're good or bad, that part of you is not your fault that it's been created that way. I, you know, your that your subconscious is created by the way that you've perceived and internalized your reality from the time that you stepped foot onto earth. And so there's a need to tap further in. Again, my readings, I try to go beyond the, the, the surface level circumstances and dive into the subconscious and understand, help you understand that there is power in your mindset. If you can look at your past circumstances and you can say, my current mindset got me here, therefore my present mindset can get me to where I'm trying to go. My, or I'm sorry, my past mindset got me here. So my present mindset can get me to where I'm trying to go. When you can take that responsibility into your own hands and understand that, you know, yeah, what is meant for you won't pass you, that nobody can get in the way of, of your, of your path, then you can understand that you're actually way more in control than your life of your life than you think you are. But it's not by controlling the 3D. It's not by controlling your circumstances. It's by controlling that 95% of you that, um, that has been essentially up until this point, a product of your environment instead of, of something that's been consciously and intentionally created. Current energy for Virgo. Goal of my readings will always be to turn you back inward because that's the only way you can control your reality. You do not control your reality by controlling the 3D. Current energy for Virgo. I like this though. This is a good reading and it's something that you're definitely kind of, you're able to kind of, um, start to see how that's impacted your life. Good. Okay. Page of Cups in reverse, Ten of um, Wands in reverse with the Queen of Swords. 
there's it's it's an interesting message because it's saying to me you can let it go you can drop your burden your burden of fear your burden your burden of the past repeating itself your burden of being hurt let it go drop it put it down if you're carrying this burden of your past experiences of things that have happened to you of of ways that you've been hurt and betrayed and kind of stepped on and set on fire whatever the case is let it go. You can drop that burden. You don't, you do not have to continue to carry the burden of your experiences with you. You do have the, have the ability to reshape your reality and there, and by reshaping and reframing your perception of it. Um, and, and there's a need to tap into that a little bit and to realize that you do not have to carry this burden anymore. You can put it down. Your intentions are protected. Whatever you're trying to create, that's protected. Your intentions are your path. Your intentions are your protection or are, are, are protected. Um, and so there's almost this need to, for you to realize that like, you're good, go wild, enjoy your life, have fun, tap into experiences that you haven't been able to anymore with a carefree mindset. Um, sorry, tap into experiences with a carefree mindset that you haven't been able to have in a while because you are on the right path. If this is your reading and if this has met, has resonated for you this, this far, you are on the right path. You do not have to carry this burden of fear, of frustration, of pain any longer. You can put it down and you can create better for yourself. All right, Virgo, let's see what we've got for your immediate future. This is immediate future for Virgo. Immediate future for Virgo, clarify and clear your mind with the King of Swords. That King of Swords energy is one of my favorite cards in tarot because it, it really does talk about finding certainty and uncertainty and understanding that your intentions are all you need to focus on. Whatever your intention is, is what you're creating. And that's why I feel like there's almost this need to realize that you are so much more powerful than you are currently thinking you are. Immediate future for Virgo or that you have been thinking you are for this past. There is the Nine of Swords in reverse. Oh my gosh, Virgo. This, I just, I pulled those cards and I literally felt like this, like, rush of relief. Um, you have the Nine of Swords in reverse with the Moon card in reverse. This is letting go of anxiety, letting go of fear, letting go of your worries about your future and how things are going to turn out for you and if they're going to turn out for you and what's going to happen and when is it going to happen and how is it going to happen. Let go of it because first and foremost, none of your business. That is none of your business. That is the universe's, that spirit's spirit business, and it is not yours to know right now. What it is yours to know is understand that everything is going to be okay. Everything is always going to turn out better than you think as long as you allow it to do that. Um, so your immediate future is a lot of you are kind of working through a few more fears. But the thing is, is you're working through fear with a brand new mindset mindset. Blah, blah, blah. You're working through fear with a mindset of that king of swords energy and not a mindset of, of kind of the, the pain, the three of swords, the ten of swords that you were experiencing in your recent past. So if you have been on a healing journey, Virgo, you should be so freaking proud of yourself because this energy in your immediate future is going to help you pay off. It's going to feel, I feel like for the first time in a long time, you're going to be able to see how your healing has paid off because I feel like right, like up until now, you've kind of been dealing with some frustration of, you know, am I on the right, am I doing the right thing? You know, am I on the right path? Am I making the right moves? Because you haven't really felt a change, but just know that you, you're going to start feeling better about things. Um, I feel like sooner than you think, too. Immediate future for Virgo. Immediate future for Virgo. So I see. Yep, there it is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. You have the Seven of Swords in reverse with the Page of Swords. And there's that Four of Wands again. That that solid mindset that you're building and you've worked to build for so long. Um, there are some things that I feel like are going to be revealed to you in your immediate future that are, go are going to allow you to step more into this page of swords energy. Um, to me, the page of swords energy is, is being able to look at life through the eyes of a child that hasn't yet had society and, you know, parental and just environmental beliefs imposed on them. So it's being able to look at the world through the eyes of, of belief and, and magic and, excitement for what is to come because I feel like right now and up until now because of what's happened to you in your past and this pain that you've experienced it's been really really hard for you to see the bright side of things again 
you've kind of been stuck in it. I'm thinking, you know, maybe even kind of dark night of the soul kind of thing here. Um, doesn't have to be, but, and if you're not familiar with that, then, and this reading has resonated, I encourage you to look up kind of what, you know, what that is. But, you know, I'm kind of just seeing like this, like, like the sun rising, like, like, like rise, you know, Phoenix rising from the ashes, like, just like this, like rebirth almost of a, of a you, a version of you that you have spent so much time creating in the dark whether or not you've realized how much you've changed, grown, and um, kind of almost like reinvented yourself here. Um, that's, it's almost like in your immediate future, you're going to start to see that pay off. It might be in small ways at first, and there's kind of going to be that need to make sure that you focus on the little things, on the little ways. Like if you watch yourself react or respond to a trigger as opposed to react, if you watch the way that you don't allow other people to impact you so much. You don't allow other people's opinions to affect you. You know, those are the ways that I see in your immediate future, you starting to, um, and, and you know, like I've said, your response to your reality is what creates a better reality. If you respond to, and this is just something that's coming up, but if you respond to, you know, someone talking bad about you behind your back with defensiveness and the need to, you know, to defend your name or defend, defend yourself, then what you're saying is that you need to defend yourself. But if you can approach that from a love, from a place of being able to say, that's fine because anything that anybody has to say about me is merely a reflection of themselves. I feel pretty great about myself and therefore my reality reflects that back to me. I have empathy for the person that likes to you know, speak badly about me because that means that they are constantly speaking bad about themselves. And that's the way that you readjust your perception and that response then creates you know, reality that reflects that belief back to you. That, that, that is how you change that 95%. All right, immediate future for Virgo. Let's get one more message here. Immediate future for Virgo. So I see some things revealed to you that almost like allow you to take a deep breath. Um, these are all going to be upside, right side up. Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Um, I like that. This is you moving forward towards your Ten of Pentacles. And with the Six of Pentacles here, it's almost like you start to receive. And that's what I was feeling before. It's like you start to receive little tiny hints from the universe that everything's going to be okay. Even if it doesn't like, you know, I feel like one of my, and I'm going to go on this rant probably in a few readings, but one of the reasons I actually left tarot in the first place was because, and I, for those of you who don't know, I used to have a tarot channel in the past, but I, I did get rid of it for a lot of reasons. And one of the reasons being, I didn't like this idea that a lot of tarot readers present that there's going to be some big event that takes place that then changes the course of your life. Because yes, for some people that could be the case, but that's very, very, very rare. Changes to your environment and to your reality happen bit by bit, piece by piece. It, it's it's taking 1% of that 95% at a time and readjusting it and reframing it and aligning it with where you're trying to go. It is not a, a quick process and there's never one thing that's going to happen that's going to completely, you're, you're not going to wake up tomorrow all of a sudden with everything you've ever wanted. That's just not how it's going to go. And if you do wake up with everything you think you've, you've always wanted, you will, once that, once the excitement of that wears off, you're going to realize that you're always going to be stuck in a cycle of wanting more because until you learn to turn within and find it within you and that reality gets reflected back at you, then, you know, you will, until you learn how to do that, you're going to be stuck looking for your worth and for validation in your external world. And that gets you trapped in that kind of cycle of hoping that something grand happens that it re, you know, readjusts your life for the future. Um, you are the only person in charge of your future. You are the only person who can impact your future. You are the only person who can tell me what's going to happen in your future. What I'm here to do is read the energy. I'm here to read the higher level energy of your subconscious and say that you are releasing fear. You're releasing anxiety. There's something here that's revealed. Now, I feel like whatever is revealed, it's coming. It does feel like it's coming from the external world. So it feels like it could be a message from a tarot reading or it could be a message. Something clicks when you're talking to a friend or something like that that allows you to step more into that King of Swords energy and, and approach your your 
um, environment and approach your life with that King of Swords mentality, knowing that you are way more in control of your reality than you're currently thinking. So set your intentions and then realize that your intentions are protected. All right, we're going to hop on over to the extended. I'm going to dive deeper into this messages, into these messages, give some more advice, and then I have an actual advice card to pull from Spirit at the end. Thank you guys so much for the support of my channel. This channel um, is newer and growing. I just started it about a month ago. So thank you so much for the support. It means the absolute world to me. I'm so excited to be back and I am truly, um, truly loving it so far. So I'm, I'm excited to, to see where this takes me. So thank you guys again. Um, and I hope to see you in future readings. All right. Bye Virgil.